A select group of parents, teachers, and students will get to talk to Metro Schools Director Dr. Jesse Register this evening to discuss ways to fix low-performing schools. Yeah, they're all part of a newly formed advisory committee. News Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes is here to explain. Well, Rory, Dr. Register says he really needs to hear from parents, especially when they're considering drastic changes to their school system. And while it's hard to make everyone happy, this newly formed committee is a step in the right direction. This one says, angry? Imagine your only choice is a failing school. Parents, teachers, and students stood outside East Park Community Center Sunday holding signs that reflect their concerns. We are ready for action. So, Maury, nothing is being done to turn around low-performing schools, and Dr. Jesse Register's plan to possibly turn some of them into charter schools is not a good one. Who are you with? Are you funded by a charter entity? Yeah. Okay, you're funded by a charter entity, and that's why you're so passionate about it. But you know what? Mr. Jay Sanders is not funded by a charter entity, and he has a kid in a school and cares. Dr. Register has also been criticized for not having enough input from the community when it comes to making decisions. The result is a newly formed 23-member East Nashville Community Advisory Committee set to meet with him for the first time tonight. Among other things, they'll talk about how we're going to work together. Um, what uh, what issues we'll be considering, the timeline that we're working on, and uh, just pretty much lay out the plan. The plan right now is to meet three more times before the end of the year. Dr. Register says plan implementation will follow once they establish a regular routine process. There is a sense of urgency on one or two decisions that we have to make. One is the location of a KIPP conversion, a, a charter school conversion. We'll, we'll make that decision uh, early in December. He also said school closings are a longer range decision, most likely not to take place next year. Any changes that would affect a parent's choice will be followed with other choices so they don't feel left in the dark. We're listening to what teachers have to say. We're listening to what principals have to say. Uh, we're listening to what community members have to say and others who have opinions. And the group will not have influence when it comes to personnel, like hiring and firing, but the longer-term decisions, so Dr. Register said, are those impactful, the ones that are very impactful, those are the ones that these parents' suggestions will really uh, have a profound effect.